What's up? My name is Lexi and today I'm going to be sharing my Sephora favorites with you. So this video is a little late in the game. The sale actually ends tomorrow, May 1st. Sephora has I think 10, 15, and 20% off right now. So if there's anything in this video that you really want to get and you want to get it with the discount, make sure you shop either tonight or tomorrow. So I have a few things that I bought and then a few things that I just really love that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to start off with makeup and then we're going to go into skincare later. The first thing I want to share is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and this is my absolute favorite primer. This really helps even my skin out and just kind of give me the extra boost of hydration that I feel like I need. So this primer comes out like a gel. This is the one primer that I've stuck with since I've bought it. I feel like I've always swapped out different primers, but ever since this one came out, I've been using it nonstop. It helps hold the hydration without giving you any lines or creases. I get hella creases around my smile lines, and I've noticed ever since I started using this primer, I don't get them as harsh. I still do get them every once in a while, but it's not as harsh as what I have with other primers that I've tried. So this primer has aloe water, cherry blossom, vitamin B, and hyaluronic acid, which are all going to support your skin to look very supple and juicy. So since we're talking about primer, I definitely want to talk about foundation and I have one foundation that I found has worked really good for my dry skin It is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and I'm in the shade 300 This is the only foundation so far that I found has really really worked well with my skin and these two together are like a dream team They make my skin just look so juicy and fresh What I love about this foundation is how buildable it is I typically go for more of a medium coverage foundation but with this, I have the capability to go from light to medium to full coverage completely. I feel like this foundation will really work for anyone, any skin texture, whether you're oily, dry, combo. It's hydrating for sure, but it's definitely not oily and overwhelmingly hydrating. For me, going into the summertime, I always just want to look extra hydrated, so this foundation will definitely come through for me for the next few months. Another thing that I love is that it's so easy to put highlight on top of it. With some foundations that you use, your highlight kind of looks chalky once you put it on top, but with the Fenty foundation, I definitely do not feel that way it just kind of feels like butter going on your skin when you're adding your highlight on top of this since we're in the Fenty realm the next product we're gonna talk about is the infamous cream blushes that everyone has been talking about lately so she is in summertime wine and she's so beautiful it's like a berry tone with very light gold iridescent I feel like Fenty got a lot of heat for it being so tiny but I'm not really mad when I first got it I was like whoa I like she's tiny she's so tiny but after using it it's like I understand why they're so tiny a little bit of this product goes a long way I can literally tap my finger in it once and that's my full face of blush so again this is a product that I am wearing today I feel like this blush just really matched with my skin tone I think the pigmentation of this product the formula of this product is just so beautiful it melts in your skin like butter so if you want to try a cream blush I would definitely recommend these I think there are about seven or eight different tones of this blush and Sephora did just restock a few days ago I know a few colors are already sold out so if you do want to grab one of these I'd say get it sooner than later so the next product is Miss Natasha Denona and her mini sunset palette this was actually a gift to me I had never tried Natasha Denona before but my aunt bought this for me and it's been everything this is my favorite favorite summertime palette these eyeshadows are incredible they're a little bit more on the pricey side but they are 100% worth it so these are the shades that you get with the palette they're really pretty warm tones I'm actually wearing this eyeshadow palette right now and these are extremely pigmented like a little bit goes a long way I also think that this is a really good palette for anyone who's new to makeup or just starting off or even just looking to buy more high-end makeup or if you just want a cute to go summer palette so this video is gonna be like hella cream products the next one I want to talk about is from nude sticks this is the Hey Honey Glow from nude sticks I used it in my last video and I was talking about how much I just love nude sticks if you haven't tried nude sticks, I would definitely recommend this to be your first product that you try from them. I love the idea behind nude sticks brand, which is kind of just that you don't need a thousand products to have a beauty routine. Most of them are all over products and this is an all over glow product. They're also all very easy to use, very user friendly, which I really love. This is an all over face glow. So this is a very universal product. There's no limits to how this can be used. Not that there are for any of these products that I'm talking about. But this one in particular is just made safe to put anywhere on your face and if you wanted to put like a little bit of a shoulder highlight or like a leg highlight, any of that, definitely try this guy out. So for this guy, if you open one side, you have the actual product and then if you open the other side, it's really cool that they give you a face brush for it. I have a little bit on already but I'm just going to throw a little bit more on top. It's so easy to use and just really beautiful and blinding. I feel like it just gives you a really natural look and it just makes you feel hydrated. I feel like for all of these products I'm saying it's giving me this supple, dewy, juicy skin. That's definitely my goal anytime I'm doing my makeup. But these are my products that just help me get there, so I'm sorry if I'm saying it over and over. 
it's getting hot and my hair is starting to frizz up <laughs> so we're gonna talk highlight city right now like hella highlight I have four different highlights aside from the cream highlight that we just talked about to show you guys so I'm gonna just jump right into it we're gonna talk again about Miss Natasha Denona and this time we're gonna talk about the bronze and glow palette from Natasha Denona so this is what the inside looks like it is the mini bronze and glow palette you get two colors obviously a bronzer and then you get a highlighter so I'm gonna do quick swatches this is the bronzer Please excuse my ugly nails right now. <laughs> this is the highlight. Just like with the eyeshadow palette, this bronzer palette is so pigmented. I would definitely say if you're getting this, have a very light hand on both the highlight and the bronzer. This is a soft focused highlighter and these both have a velvet finish to them. So this highlight and bronzer duo is meant to give you more of a soft blur finish. They are velvet to the touch, so they're gonna feel a little bit softer than what powder would. A little bit of them go a really long way. This is perfect if you're on the go to leave in your car, to have in your purse, anything like that. These little to-go products are my favorite, so I would definitely recommend this one as my favorite bronzer and highlight duo. So the next product we are going to talk about is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in... I've had this for maybe two years. This is one of the most blinding highlights that I own. It doesn't have the name on it, but I'll definitely have it somewhere down below so that you can get this exact one if you want it. I'm gonna do a quick swatch of it so you can see how blinding this is. Like what even? I'm gonna add a little bit on top of what I'm already wearing right now of this highlight just so you can see. And again, we already put on the Hey Honey Glow highlight so that is gonna be under this, but she just adds like the extra dimension to it. So this highlight doesn't give me like that chalky finish. You know, it just kind of gives me like a little more luminescence to my skin. And what I love about this too is that you can wear it on your eyes or anything like that. It doesn't like promote it as to wear it on your eyes, but I've worn this on my eyes just with like a taupey colored eyeshadow and it looks so beautiful. So this is my skin with the highlight on. Okay, so I just realized the color that I have it in is Golden 2 and it's the only color that is in stock right now on the Sephora website. Website. It comes in two separate colors. The other color is golden pink So it obviously has a little bit more of the pink opalescence undertones in it But the one that I have on is number two golden my face is gonna be so highlighted after this like <laughs> just gonna look like crazy so the next highlighter we're gonna talk about is Miss Fenty Beauty and this is the Kilowatt in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So she is definitely more on the pink spectrum. So when these first came out, I went to Sephora to try to see which highlight would complement my skin the best and this is the one that they matched me to. So you can see the swatches are very pinky toned but it's not like crazy. I feel like using like white toned highlights just make my skin look like washed out and again it gives me just that chalky look but these tones are just so beautiful on my skin tones and I really like that this highlighter comes with two different tones in it so you can mix them up or you can just use them by themselves so the last highlight we're gonna be talking about is the Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Powder this has always been one of my favorite highlighters ever since I bought it I also have Coco Bling in this that was the first one that I bought and I just felt like that didn't complement my skin very nicely but Illuminati is so beautiful on my skin so I don't want to dump it over but it comes like this y'all are gonna be shook at this highlight so just doing a quick swatch of this it gives you such a blinding glow you can definitely do some skincare and then just throw this product on it's very light you can mix it with your moisturizer you can use it as a body glow anything like that because it's a loose powder it's gonna give you more capabilities within the product and like different ways you can use it so now we're gonna move on to skincare so the first product I want to talk about is the watermelon sleeping mask and this smells so good it's like the lightest fruity watermelon scent it is kind of like a jelly base mask and this is the mini version it is pillow proof I feel like most face masks that say that they're for sleeping are not pillow proof which just means means that you can sleep overnight and you wake up in the morning and you can still kind of feel the mask on your face and you know that it like worked overnight it does not wipe off really whatsoever when I use this my skin just feels extra glowy and supple so if you're looking for something to shrink your pores overnight this is gonna be your best friend I would definitely recommend this to you this is gonna help exfoliate and refine your pores a little bit so it's gonna help shrink them up overnight and this is also part of Sephora's clean makeup brand this means that this product is safe of parabens sulfates formaldehydes, and mineral oils 
So I have three more products within the Glow Recipe Watermelon line. The next one is the Mini Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer. So mine is pretty much done. It is completely out for the most part. I've had this for over a year and a half and I'm just now starting to run out. This is kind of going to do similar things as what the watermelon mask will do, except it's going to help you in the daytime. So with any of your dark spots, any of your texture in your skin, anything like that, it's going to really help to correct it while also making you look glowy and dewy throughout the day. So the last three products I'm going to talk about are all new. The first one is still within the Glow Recipe watermelon line. This guy is the Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tightening Toner. And she is huge. She is real thick. I'm so excited to try this. I have not tried it yet, but I did still just want to share with you things that I purchased. This is supposed to obviously tighten your pores, and this is more of like a sticky toner from what I've read. So for this one, because I haven't tried it, I'm going to read a few things off of Sephora's website. So this guy retails for $34, and it says it's a gentle PHA and BHA infused watermelon toner that hydrates skin and minimizes the appearance of pores. It's used for all skin types. The skincare concerns that it focuses on are pores, dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. And again, this is a clean line at Sephora. So while we're in the fruity scene, we're going to be talking about Ulla Henriksen's Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It says this is 15% vitamin C, 5% PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. So this is really good to go with your skin with a sunscreen. So this is really good to start using if you're in your 20s right now because I feel like we don't really focus on any anti-aging products. This is really going to help you with preventing those fine lines and wrinkles that you may or may not have already. It's also going to help you correct any dark spots that you have. If you're able to get this serum, I 100% recommend it. So again, I'm looking on Sephora's website to see anything that I might have missed. It says that this is for all skin types. It's going to help dullness, uneven texture and loss of firmness and elasticity and this is a lightweight serum with vitamin C. So like I said, I did want to get this for premature aging and I needed a sister product for this. This cannot work on its own, so you should always be wearing sunscreen even if you're in the house. This is the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. This has an SPF of 40. I haven't tried this yet. I've tried a couple other facial sunscreens and I didn't really like them. They were like, um, mineral sunscreens and they just kind of felt more grainy. I haven't opened this one yet so I don't know exactly how it works, but it just says that this is lightweight, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for your face that leaves behind a velvety soft finish and it also acts as a makeup gripping primer. So if you don't want to get the milk primer, this is also another alternative for that because it says that you can use this as a makeup primer and this actually has SPF in it. So thank you for hanging out with me. Those were all of my Sephora favorites. Until I see you next time, please be kind to those around you and I'll see you soon.